Hey everybody, Jody Tressler Green coming to you live from Las Vegas. It's Sunday night and I'm working. Most people are off and doing their own thing, but I'm making things happen. And while I was working today, I decided I was going to cut this video so that I could share a story with you that I feel if you receive it, it can change your life. It, it can inspire an improvement in your life. But before I do that, I want to ask you a question. Have you ever met somebody that changed your perspective or made you take a step back and reassess your life in just a few moments time or maybe over a, a short weekend of getting to spend time with them or maybe it was, you know, a, a casual bumping into somebody and the conversation made you sit there and think differently when you were done. And the reason I'm asking that is because I met this person that I want to share my story about and he gave me a different perspective in a very short period of time and it changed my life. So I feel like it, it's just obviously I've got to share that story with you guys. So think about that. What kind of people are in your life today? Are they people who are motivating you? Are they encouraging you? Are they supporting your, your efforts? Are, are they giving you a pat on the back when they know you've worked hard and you reach a, a goal? Are they you know that uplifting friend who keeps you on the right focus when you're stressed out or maybe when you're struggling? Or are these people who are constantly challenging you. Oh, that'll never work. Oh, you're crazy for doing that. You need to surround yourself with the right people. And the person that I'm talking about or the story that I want to share with you tonight that I think is going to change your life is about a guy that I met in Austin, Texas named David Van. David is a younger guy. I say younger. I'm 41. He's a younger guy. He's um father of a young boy named Nate and he's a single dad who um, basically is a disabled veteran. He was in the military. Now he's um, a disabled vet living at home taking care of his son and living off of veterans disabilities like a thousand bucks a month and managing to provide a home for a child on a thousand dollars a month guys. That's like 12 grand a year. I can't even fathom it. I personally, in 2006, I made $9,000 or uh, $9, in 2006. So I know how hard that can be. So in the short weekend that I spent with David at, in Austin, getting to know him and realizing what his struggles were and the things that he was challenged with at home and the fact that he was struggling financially and he was trying to make it on a $1,000 a month you know, disability payment from the government. What a joke. And when we were asking him, you know, about him being in, in Austin, you know, like that sounds like you're really struggling. How did you get here? And you know what this man did to get to an Empower Network event so that he could learn what he needed to learn, meet the people he needed to meet and find a mentor and, and a JV partner and, and start putting in place all those things that were available to him. <laughs> I was floored by it and it I think is what gave me an instant shift in perspective this man sold his car to get there I don't know many people who would sacrifice their vehicle regardless of its state or condition to go to an event with the intention that at that event they were going to find what they needed to come back home and make a new life would you be one of those people I don't even know if I would be one of those people. Knowing that I would be coming back without a vehicle to get where I needed to go, that would be pretty tough. And I don't know many people who would do that. And so I felt like I needed to share, you know, his story with you and let you know that when you really want something, when you really want something, guys, I'm saying like you really want it. It's something you need to have in your life to feel fulfilled, to feel like you're, you're in purpose. Like you're living a purpose-driven life, which is a great book, by the way. But I don't know how many people are willing to do what it takes 
And if you're not willing to sacrifice your vehicle, are you willing to sacrifice sleep? Are you willing to forego a meal? Drink a shake or whatever you got to do to get through, you know, conference calls or some three ways or, or you know, out ground pounding and face-to-face and -face marketing with people? Is that what you're doing? Are you willing to make those sacrifices? Are you willing to forego a, um, you know, party night with some friends or, or you know, a movie night with your, with your guy or your girl? Are you willing to sacrifice that, knowing that if you do that on the short term, the long term is going to give you so much more freedom to do that kind of stuff all the time? Are you willing to do that? Because David was willing to do that. David, like, sacrificed a vehicle. <laughs> like, I don't know many people who would give up their car. That's like saying, here, take my cell phone. I'll give you my note. Give me, you know, what I need. Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't know many people who would do that. So for that, I just wanted to say, David, I applaud you. I think you're amazing. I think you are an awesome father to your son, and he's going to be so proud of you when you are a huge success and you are providing more than the lifestyle he needs because you worked so hard for it. And I am just so blessed to know you, and I am so grateful that I bumped into you and we had to end up bunking that night as roommates, and me and Mike and you got to spend a weekend together brainstorming and mentoring each other. and. I just, it was amazing. I love you. I think you're awesome. And I can't wait to walk across, walk, rock, what is that? I can't even talk. I get so excited. I cannot wait to walk across the stage with you in Chicago. <laughs> I love you, David. Take care. We'll talk soon. And um, to everybody else who's out there, if you are looking for um, just a great person to connect with, to learn from, to be motivated by, David Van, that's your guy. I would love to mentor you. I would love to work with you. I would love to brainstorm with you, push through, charge forward, create something new and exciting. So go down there. Up oh, down below and hit subscribe and subscribe to my channel and follow me and get plugged in get plugged into this great community of people that we're a part of and um, and just learn and, and absorb it like a little sponge so hopefully you guys will love the the message and um, you got something good out of this subscribe and I'll see you soon bye